guys, welcome to Luke's Pocket Adventures. We're bummed out. The thing that we're really bummed about is our little rhino rat snake here. And we got it about 10 days ago mm -hmm. ish. Yeah. And um, he has some health issues. So we. Um, we kind of had them from the beginning. Yes. But did we, at that point, we kind of, you know, were sort of accepting it and, yeah. and what? Yeah, we just thought they're probably just constipation or maybe it's just food that he ate before yeah. he came. And that but they would he would probably poop and it would pass down. Yeah. Turns out no. So, so what's the problem he's got? Basically about one and a half to two inches away from his cloaca, he has two large or why am I holding up a three? Two large, um, hard rock solid bumps. So guys, these are pretty big bumps and even if he ate they would at least move a little bit. And um you can see how significant they are. And these aren't tiny. How big these do you think they are? Big. About, how big do you think they are? They feel to be uh, about a um, half a centimeter each. Yeah, that's pretty for such a skinny because he's pretty skinny, isn't he? Yeah, he's very skinny. For a skinny snake or even any baby snake, these are big lumps. And they go all around his body too. They do. They? Like, I can even actually feel the bumps on his side. Yeah, they're on the side and they're on his belly. I'm starting to wonder if they're bladder stones. Yeah, they could be. You mentioned that before. I don't know if snakes get them, but they could be. So guys, these feel very hard. They almost kind of feel like I've never felt one before, but something that just came into my mind. They could be bladder stones. Well, I guess. Do snakes get bladder stones? I don't know, but it could be. It could be. We just don't know. Here, let me see if we can get a couple more. Oh, here, that's it. That's a really good indication right there. And then where's this cloaca? It's right there. Right there. They haven't moved. No. Yeah. He's a sweet guy. Well, he's a little snappy. He is he's, a bit spicy. Yeah, we, well, he's uncomfortable because what happens if we try to gently touch the bump? He just we know what happens. squirms away. Yeah, he's sensitive in that area. He doesn't yes. want to be touched there. So we totally get it. Mm join this amazing Facebook uh, Rhino Rat Snake Group. Yes, it's called the Rhino Rat Snake Room. On, on room, And they've been super wonderful about educating yes. us and telling us what they think is wrong. So one of the key things that they honed in on was what that what could it possibly be? Um, it could be just constipation. where, yeah. Or it could just be a meal that he previously ate before yeah. he came here. And he was just, you know, hadn't passed it down yet. Right, or was not capable of passing it. Yeah. Down. Yeah. So when we got him, he had pretty, what honey? He had, um, Can you hold it up so people, like hold him yeah. this way, maybe so people can understand and point to where the- bump. So the two bumps, there's one right here, one yeah. right here. And um, what we just, he won't so, eat. No. And um, and so we've done what the breeder asked us to do. Yes, um, which is- All nine days, pretty much. Yes, which well, is soaking days. him for one and a half hours every day. Yeah. And what kind of water? In lukewarm water. Yeah. Which, sorry, yeah. no pun intended. Um, so that helps him to stay hydrated. Because we noticed he wasn't drinking water. And then they also tend to do what with their water dish? Which um, they he like, wasn't doing. Yes, they like to soak in it. Yeah. And he wasn't doing any of that. So... 
we were hydrating him by putting him in lukewarm water yes. but then did that have any effect day after day after day after day, day? after day it didn't have any effect no it, those lumps stayed in the same exact spot in fact i feel that they got a bit bigger yeah we feel that they've gotten larger and he hasn't been able to pass them. no So medically, we don't know what's wrong. No. Um, so then what's our alternative? We've been working with the breeder. and We have no yes. choice. What do we have to We're do? We're going to return him. Yeah, we've got to send him and back. And they're going to send us a replacement that they said they've checked thoroughly, no health issues. No. Um, but the breeders were very nice about it. Yeah. They said they And we debated about sending him back or what yeah. to do. And we checked, we called a few veterinarians, but he doesn't qualify for urgent care. No. Um, because urgent care is like really urgent and he's had this problem for several days. Yes. And then our California veterinarians, the regular exotic vets, they are in high demand and so they're booked out for weeks. Yes. They're, so Today is November 15th. They're booked out until I think December. December, yeah. December. Um, and we feel like the longer we keep him, the worse he might get because we're just not sure what's wrong. Yeah, we have no idea. No, so. We think it's just constipation that won't move. It could also be the swelling of maybe a broken rib. Yeah, we have no we idea. We don't know. We just don't know. Yeah. Um, and we feel like the longer we keep him, the more damage we could potentially do for his life just by keeping him yeah. versus sending him back to a breeder who's obviously an expert and has probably seen yeah. all of this we're before. first time running a rat snake yeah over. but so we made this video so you guys could learn along with us mm -hmm. what these interesting bumps look like and not really knowing why they're there and the fact that they've been there for how many days now um uh we've had him for nine days yeah. and they've been there every single day so they've probably been here over a week right or, or maybe even over two weeks yeah and maybe he got dehydrated or he got stressed on the journey he was it was overnight chipping he was just this way when we got him yeah so so do we get to say bye bye to him bye little guy it's the evening and you're gonna get shipped off tomorrow, tomorrow. morning november yeah. 16th 2020 and then we're getting a replacement yeah so bye little guy bye little guy Hi guys, welcome to Luke's Bug Adventures. Nerd, the people who we bought the snakes from, very kindly took him back and they sent us a replacement. So today we're unboxing, uh, what's his name? Emed 2.0. What does that mean? He's upside down. What does that mean? He's upside down. Does that mean he's alive? I don't know if he's alive. Okay, well, we need to take the point. Here, bring him over here so we can see that it's upside down. Um, oh wait, he's moving. Oh, he's fine. Fine. You scared me. I'm sure you scared yourself. Here, can you move the box? So let's open it up. Yay! Yay. Emma 2.0. 2.0 who is upside down Whoa. and going around. Oh jeez, wow, you're a lot of, you're very active. Well, hello, how are you doing? See him. He woke happy. up. Happy. Hello. No strange lumps and bumps. Emmet 2.0 actually came to us a day late from FedEx. Yeah. So even though this mall says, well, pretty damp, um, we are going to just make sure that he's fully hydrated and we're going to soak him. Because we learned that from Ahmed 1.0, one, uh, 1. Yes. that yes. he was dehydrated and stressed and we didn't realize it. It was our first time. Mm -hmm. So, so what are, are rhino rat snakes comfortable in water? Honey? Yes, they're actually very comfortable in water. They are semi-aquatic snakes. I'm going to help you a little bit. Gently. And they love to soak. There yes. he is. So, and of course it's the, it's, Vented on the sides, yes. and honey, um, uh, 
this is what kind of water is it? It's this is um reverse osmosis water. So it's and the like, temperature? Um, this is about eighty five degrees. Yeah, it's quite. It's warm, but not too warm. This mm -hmm. is just to get him relaxing. So I'm going to put plants all around him so he feels secure. As you can see, I've turned out most of the lights, so now he is nice and calm, and actually he's barely moving. Great. So that means he's nice and relaxed. Hey, little Emmet 2.0. I'm Luke, and I hope you like your new home. Um, let's see. There's a cloaca. Okay. Right where my finger is. Okay. And I see no unusual bumps or bumps. Let's check. Anything? Nope. Anything at all? Nope. And I can just feel to make sure. Yep, I don't feel anything. Can you hold him so I can chin. check his bottom? Nothing Seems on the Seems very chin. relaxed and docile. How's he doing? Oh, he's got a doing pretty great. color. Hi! Oh, are you coming towards the camera? Do you want a selfie? I think you want a selfie. Mm. And they're called rhino rat snakes. Why, honey? Because of their little rhino horn. It's so cute. Look at you. But here he is, you cute little rhino rat snake. You're so cute. Should we make his home now? 